As always, I have some great news for you here at the PC Security Channel. Turns out we've just encountered the largest data breach in history. Over 770 million email addresses leaked and a lot of passwords as well. Now all of this was discovered, I believe, by Troy Hunt. The entire database or record was titled Collection 1 and it had like a complete list of email addresses and passwords totaling millions of rows. As the name suggests, it's a collection of data from a large number of sources, a large number of breaches that have happened in the past. So in essence, it's not a new breach, but the fact that this was discovered on essentially a hacker forum has really grave consequences in the sense that that data is likely with a lot of cyber criminals now. If anyone's going to experiment with a new kind of attack, it's likely that they will use these details. So here's the disease, but where's the cure? Well. There are a couple of things you can do. So first of all, you can go to haveibeenpwned.com and check if your email address was part of the breach. And it's very likely that it was. It's almost inevitable. And keep in mind, this is not just any shady website. Like major websites like LinkedIn have been hacked in the past. So it is extremely likely that when you type in your email here, as I will show you, you will be greeted with this. Oh no, pwned. So what do you do about it? Well, don't panic just yet because your email being there isn't necessarily a big deal. As I mentioned, it's almost inevitable these days that your email has been leaked in some shape or form. But what's important is how you secure it. I mean, of course, this means that you can be hit by a spam attack, you can get phishing emails, but it's hard to avoid those anyway. The critical parameter, though, is your password and whether or not you use two-factor authentication. So if you use two-factor authentication, you're most likely okay. But you should still go to the password section of this website, have I been pwned, and you should type in your password in here and see if that is least secure. If your password has been pwned, then you're in trouble because then you've given the cyber criminals all they need to access your account and thereby any other linked accounts that you might have. It's important to check the passwords for all your main accounts because even if one of them is compromised, it could easily lead to everything else being compromised in a chain of attacks. So if you've been careless with the password because the site you're using, you didn't really care, you didn't store any sensitive information there, keep in mind that that account could potentially be used to hack into your other accounts. So please go on this website and check your passwords. That's the least I would recommend doing. As for the breach itself, it's more like a discovery of the weapons of the enemy. In any case, it highlights the problem we have with data these days. I mean, what are the chances that almost everyone's email is in here? And all of this is accessible to a bunch of cyber criminals who, well, who knows what they're going to do with it. There isn't really a lot more to discuss, so I'm not going to bore you, but I did want to make the video just so you know, and just so you go on the website, check your passwords, and you'll be surprised how many emails I get from people who have these kind of issues, who are just a victim of social engineering, and all of a sudden they come up and say, well, I've been seeing weird transactions on my credit card, and now I've frozen it, but is there any way I can get the money back? And usually the answer is no. It's always fun and games until it happens to you. I know it doesn't seem like a very real threat when you just read, well, data breed something, something, but um, you don't want to wait and find out. So do go on the websites, check out um, if your email or passwords are affected. If your password is affected, immediately change your password, enable two-factor authentication on your major accounts, especially your email accounts. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the website, thepcsecuritychannel.com. Join us on the Discord server. We're hosting game sessions every week. Did I mention that before? Anyway, this is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.